Hello YouTube, this is another live commentary battle of the t TWCC Cup with me, Genius, playing against Agony Duck. Um, after one game, the score is 1-0 in my favor. Let's see if we can increase the lead here with Pontus against Athens. And we brought a fairly cavalry heavy army the last battle, so I'm thinking he'll, if he'll flip that and go for... Um, a heavier, a heavier contingent of infantry this time, since he's playing as Athens. I'm expecting Thurio's hoplites and um, mercenary veteran hoplites together with Hippeus lancers. We'll see if that plays out. And yep, I'm going to use my skirmishers to harass him a bit to begin the battle. Then I'm just going to try to play pretty conservative. And let's see how this goes. Alright, so he has mercenary veteran hoplite, citizen cavalry, Hippeus lancers, Hippeus lancers, thorax up. It's. Yep, yeah, he, he had a lot of what I expected him to bring, so he brought a lot more. Uh, he brought a lot more infantry this time around. So I'm just going to concentrate on parts of his army here. Or actually, I'm going to play it a bit safer than this. Now this will probably be a bit difficult, because he has a slight melee cavalry advantage. I was going to try to move some men at my back here. So I'm just going to move up. Now, it will limit my ability to kite effectively that he has a lot of his... Uh, that he has a lot of... cavalry like this. So I'm just going to pop this bow cavalry. Go over here on this flank, and now he's going to try to get us around going. And um, let's see if he's able to do that. Going to go shoot at his Hippias Lancers a bit. Shoot up his Skirmisher Cavalry. Now he might just charge here, so I'm going to return the favor. He's getting a bit close for comfort here. So I'm going to try to charge here with my general. Charge here. Now this is already not looking too good for me because he was able to get some nice charges off, but I'm going to try to use my skirmishers to stop him. He will be able to get his hoplites into the fight fairly easily. And his hoplites are better than mine, but if I can keep my skirmishing contingent alive, this should be fine, I guess. So I'm going to charge his general here. And I'm going to charge to go behind him. Now these slingers, they will just die, that's fine. Managed to clean up one cab fight. I'm going for his general now. And now he's moving towards my slingers. I'm just going to run away. Fight back, fight back, fight back. Charges veteran hoplites here. Now my general is wavering. So I don't know what those guys are doing, they are just running away from the battle. But I'm going to catch his hoplites here. So hopefully they will just die. Now that's my skirmishers gone. And now I'm going to have to do a hell of a lot of kiting to be able to salvage this battle. 
because he has the advantage in every department. So this was a pretty diff difficult build to face, I think. Now these hoplites can be ignored, I think. So I'm going to have to skirmish very effectively now to be able to stand a chance. He has a lot of cavalry left, and I don't, so that's bad. Now he's going to go for my chariot, so I'm going to try to shoot his guys before they get there. He's going to kite away. I'm going to shoot his face lancers all I can. Now as you can see he almost didn't lose any infantry here because he was able to um, I, I just got caught a bit off guard by his uh, wide approach so he just uh, outclassed me in the infantry department so I think I would have been better off with a stronger infantry corps in this battle actually but we will see if this is indeed salvageable, now he's going to move up in a line here and probably try to catch me. So it would be really nice to get some chariot charges off, but he's doing the smart thing and keeping his uh, cavalry close by so that if I run through his lines here, he'll just be able to stop my poor guys. And he's covering the map very nicely here. So I'm just going to keep kiting keep kiting away I'm just I'm going to try to make him try to remove all his cavalry and which will be difficult to do since I have so few of my own now the Isipeus Lancer should die quite nicely to heavy shot since they don't have any shields to block the missiles with and they are getting stuck here so chariots move away now as you can see I'm not able to get any good shots off on his uh, guys here and he's just chasing me around the map I have to continue to run. Now the second I engage my chariots, I'm going to die. So, yep, I'm going to try to take out his cavalry first and foremost. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. So now I'm getting caught here. Something drastic. He's going to try to move around. Now he's going to try to catch my hoplites here, so I'm going to turn around and turn on hoplite phalanx. Hopefully, that will take some pressure off my other guys. I was able to stop them and then just very good play by Duck there. So as you can see he's moving in to surround me once again. I'm going to try to escape over here. Now he's stopping these sublights. I'm going to form phalanx here to protect their flank for a bit. I'm expecting a move on my cavalry at any moment. So I'm going to try to do something with his cavalry. My hoplites. I, I won't be able to support them here because, um, as much as it would be nice to have hoplites be alive, I am much more reliant on my chariots and my. Um, horse archers here but uh, against uh, he, he picked a very good build against my build 
because he outclassed me in infantry and he outclassed me in cavalry and he, w he would be able to use his infantry to uh, support very well here. Now the funny thing is, I, uh, like I said, I did expect uh, this type of build in this battle, but I wasn't able to, uh, I wasn't able to have an effective build against this type of um, melee rush, which it's it's basically uh, um, Athens melee rush. So we will see. I obviously don't have enough ammo left. The only thing that I can do is that I can take out his cavalry and get my chariots to work. And Hopita is getting surrounded here on all sides. So he's protecting his men very well. Now I see that his cavalry is... Oh, it's behind there. So I'm still going to try to... Still going to try to... Um, and again, hoplites are very effective now against missiles because they can deflect arrows fairly well. So this was actually a nightmare build to face. Um, the duck played very well, don't get me wrong, but um, I really don't think I had a lot of hope in, in uh, this particular battle. So doing his best to keep his to keep his uh, citizen cavalry alive there, keeping him behind the hoplites, and as you can see I'm running low on ammo, I'm just shooting because I want to <laughs> get some kills. I don't think there's a lot I can do at this point. He just has too many guys left. I could conserve my ammo and just go for cavalry though. But he's playing well here. Split up my horse archers for a bit. Now, the only good thing about this is that his men are getting exhausted, but that really doesn't help me a lot because there are just too many for me to deal with. However, I will take this opportunity to practice my micro for a bit. <laughs> I was moving for my chariots. Lancers. So a very good build this. Uh, it would be better to bring more swords in this case and basically counter it with uh, the counter to hoplites which is swords. But uh, in this battle I went for a balanced build and I was going to try to kite but obviously kiting against an army that could cover the map this well and not be contested is extremely difficult. So now he's moving towards my chariots because they stopped and still moving away trying to now he's going to catch these guys here. They weren't able, able to move away in time. I'm going to try to get some shots off at least while I'm running and this engagement is happening. So, managed to kill some guys, but his Apeus Lancers are going to get the charge off on my chariots. Oh no, they are bunching up here. Not good. Not good at all. So, micro mistake there, and GG. <laughs> So good game and on to game number two where the score is 1-1.